Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 5. So, we are on the offensive against Dram and we should even be able to take his capital this time around. I started one more trebuchet in Uruk, just to be sure. That way we'll have three trebuchets total. That should be enough. And not much else we can do on this turn, so... We can probably take a city in like two turns right now, other than his capital. This one only has eight combat strength. So let's see how much damage our trebuchet is going to do. Probably a lot. Yeah, <laughs> we can take that city instantly. Right now. There we go, it's ours. I think I'll keep this one as a puppet. Yeah, let's keep this one as a puppet. And we can move in immediately. So, let's go everyone. Including the general. So, what else is happening? We got a great merchant. So, we can grab a town over here, for example. And then work that tile instead of one of the farms. Yeah, that makes sense. Other than that, we got a promotion on the scout. Yeah, let's take a medic. Second scout with a medic will definitely come in handy. Vulture will stay inside the city. And we could actually probably kill that horseman. Well, first, let's get allied with Quebec City again. And Quebec City will probably kill the horsemen. Most likely, yeah. Grab the bananas. And you. We should probably finish the mine. Because it's not actually done yet. Alright then, so. First, let's kill the units around here. Definitely a good idea. So, like this. And heal up the swordsmen. Go back into the city to lower our unhappiness a little bit. And we are not moving in just yet. There's no huge rush. Well, let's play it safe. I don't want any funny surprises. And we got one more trebuchet coming in four turns. And then another in eight. One trebuchet is not going to be enough against his capital city. Definitely not. As for the worker... It's tempting to get a village over here, but I'd rather get a farm to take advantage of the floodplains. So, farm it is then. And I think that's that. I queued up one more caravan, or rather cargo ship, in our coastal city. Since we are at 2 out of 3 right now. And now we can enhance our religion, which is what I've been waiting for. Okay, so let's see what's actually available in here. We could pick up a mosque, which will give us more science. Can't go wrong with more science. And I'm actually a little bit worried we might be behind the other sieves. Because we still have to make contact with sieves that didn't start on our continent. We could always go for churches. That's a pretty good one. Or cathedrals. That will give us more gold. Cathedrals are actually pretty nice. Not only we get a slot for great works of art, which we can also use for artifacts later on, all our farms, pastures and quarries will gain plus one gold. And we'll also get gold when the city expands the borders. It's a pretty good one. Yeah, I think I'll go for cathedrals. It's pretty nice for gold. Alright, now, Enhancer Belief. What is available in here? Well, we do have quite a few options. Plus and gold and faith in Holy City for every 10 followers. I don't think so. May spend faith to purchase land units in cities. Strategic resource quantities increase by 1% per following city, up to 25. Okay. Well, buying units for faith is nice, but I don't think we need that all that much. Profits of this religion are 25% stronger, cost 25% less faith, plus free to base holy site yields. Okay. If this is the majority religion, follower reduction from rival inquisitors and prophets halved. Okay. Interesting. Orthodoxy. Religion spreads 20% faster, 40% with printing press, and to cities 20% further away. 
pressure doubled to friendly city states and foreign cities connected through trade routes. I don't think I want that one. Plus two culture and faith in all owned cities following this religion. Internal trade routes generate plus four food and production. This one is pretty nice for internal trade routes, if we want to use those. Inquisitors cost 25% less faith and they generate 300 gold when they successfully change a city's religion by removing heresy. Bonus value declines every era. Your spies exert plus 50 religious pressure on the cities they occupy. Oh yeah, this one is pretty nice, if only because spies exert religious pressure. Also, plus to happiness if stationed in a foreign city. As in the spy. Okay. Ignore all policy requirements for wonders. Holy city gains plus 5 golden age points and plus 2 great person points per turn for all great people. Plus 15% great person rate in holy city during golden ages. I actually think I might go for this one because we will generally want to work as many specialists as possible because we have a unique ability that gives us bonuses from specialists which means we will be generating a lot of great person points so this kind of makes sense maybe plus five golden age points and plus two great person points per turn for all great people only in the holy city but we can also ignore policy requirements for wonders. That part is actually pretty nice because it's much harder to rush wonders in Vox Populi because they all have policy requirements. Sometimes you can easily get the tech required for the wonder long before you have the number of policies required. So this is actually quite tempting and we are pretty good at rushing wonders at least for now thanks to Council of Elders. Anyway, the last choice is Capital gains plus 10 culture and holy city gains plus 10 faith. Plus 2 golden age points and gold in holy city for every foreign city following this religion. Missionaries of this religion are 25% stronger. Yeah, I kind of like the second one. I think we'll go for that. The internal trade routes bonus is nice, but I don't think I'll be using that many internal trade routes. Probably not. So, yeah, let's go for that one. I like it. So, that's our religion. Confirm. Alright then. Now, how's our city growing? We will get extra pop on the next turn. We can probably move this guy by now. Although, I like the gold from the village. Let's wait for that extra citizen. Although, we can actually get the citizen even if we remove one guy from the farm. Let's work in the market then. So, that will do. And we'll get a great scientist on the next turn. Nice. Spearman. Alright then. And another promotion for our scout. Uh, let's grab Medic too. That is actually pretty nice. Here. Now, three more turns for the trebuchet. Let's see how much damage we can do to his capital. Let's see if there are any units around here. Yeah, there are. Okay. Barrage free. Right, I can't quite attack it with the trebuchet on this turn. Oh, but we can grab either volley or siege free. Siege free will make more sense right now because it will unlock the advanced promotions faster. So, siege free. Can we kill the great general? No, not quite. Okay, shock two. And the more promotions. Shock two. Shock free or cover? I think I prefer cover here. So cover, it's nice to have at least cover one. Two more turns to finish the settler. And we'll be settling around here. That will be a pretty damn good city. Yeah, cover one for the spearmen. Shock 2, you will go here, and let's move towards these guys. So, cover 1. Okay, looks good. And we can move forward a little bit with the trebuchet. Maybe spearman over here, and the trebuchet slightly in the back. Yep, that makes sense. 
All right then. I think that's pretty much it. Here's another promotion. All right, this guy needs to heal up, especially since he has logistics. We wouldn't want him to get killed. Definitely not. Okay, I think that's going to be it. As for the worker, we need to connect the city ASAP. So I guess we'll connect it through here. That makes the most sense right now. Okay, fortify until healed. General into the city. Barracks will be done on the next turn and I got a heavy skirmisher queued up after that. That will come in handy. So, let's upgrade, shall we? We got 700 gold and we might actually need an upgraded unit around Lagash. Here's another promotion. Yeah, let's take shock free and then we can start the town. So that's going to be it, I think. Plus one food, plus one production, plus five gold. And then we'll just work that tile instead of this one. Okay, yep, sounds good to me. Let's do that. And we'll also get 20 hammers. Here. Okay, then. So, what else is happening? You guys stay in the cities as garrison. Finish the mine. Here's another promotion. Cover one will be enough for now. Let's get shock free. And heal back to full. And now we're done. From the looks of it. What are we going to do with our fate now? Let's see. We could start buying the buildings. Or we could spread our religion some more. I think I'd like to spread my religion some more. Especially since we can still take advantage of Council of Elders. So, missionary. Alright then. Although, I think I'd rather buy that missionary manually. Nah, it doesn't really make a difference. Because if I buy him manually, I can control which city I buy him in. So actually, yeah, that does make more sense right now. Okay, next. We can buy one in two turns. And also, Great Scientist on the next one. I don't think that guy will be around our capital. Probably next to Orok or something like that. That's what I'm thinking. So, right here. That's a pretty good location for an academy. And the machinery is our next tech. Which will unlock the crossbowmen. And also Notre Dame. We might try to get that one. I guess we'll see about that. So. Continue the road. That will take a little bit of time. But we need it. And get started on this one. The other worker can help out. So, over here. Now. Let's see. We will have to kill some of these defenders down here. That's kind of obvious. I can't just ignore them. I think we can kill the general right now. Yes, we can. It will be a little bit risky, maybe. There's a good chance I lose the spearman. But this is just a regular spearman, right? Not an upgraded vulture. No, that's just a regular spearman. We can end our turn on the hill with the spearman. That will probably be safer. We'll be out of range of his capital that way. Here. Oh, we found another city. Alright then. It was worth it to kill the general, even if we lost the spearman. But he might be fine. We'll see about that. He is on a hill. On a forested hill. So, he might be okay. I guess we'll see. So, what else can we do? I don't think we can kill the composite bowman. No, we only got one unit that can attack him. Okay. So, scout in here. We can pillage a farm. Oh no, that's not quite what I had in mind. Okay, yeah, that is not quite what I wanted to do there. It might make more sense to move in more aggressively now. Alright, let's start doing damage to his capital. Here, that was actually more damage than I thought it would be. Yeah, that's not too bad. Alright, let's go everyone. Maybe scout over here? No. Never mind. Okay, let's move in. Here. That will do. Move in with a composite moment as well. 
and keep the spearmen as garrison. And here's our second trebuchet. We'll pick up Siege 2 and send him to the front line immediately. One more turn to finish the settler. Alright, let's see what's going to happen now. We will lose that spearman, but that's okay. We didn't lose the other one. So, let's put some pressure on his capital, shall we? Once he take his capital, he will be as good as gone. From this game, that is. Pillage. And we might want to kill that swordsman at least. We can do some damage to him, then back up one tile. Maybe attack these guys. Yeah, I can't really ignore that spearman. I can, however, kill him. There we go. Okay, second trebuchet. With two trebuchets, we should be able to take the city quite easily. We might even not need the third one. We'll see. As for the economy... Yeah, over here looks fine. Or up here, maybe. That tile will be in range of both our capital and Orok. So that actually makes a bit more sense right now. So we will work that, obviously. Here you go. How about we change the priorities manually here? Let's see. Let's log these specialist slots. The city will grow on the next turn. So... Yeah, we can work the iron. Our capital is not working it anyway. Yeah, it will grow in one turn. No matter what I do. Why does this tile not want to lock? I think that might be a bug with the other city. Okay, that is pretty annoying. I can't actually lock the tile. Very weird. Alright, whatever. Yeah, it's not locked, as you can see, and I literally can't lock it. I can't lock this one either, what? What the heck? I can't lock anything with this citizen at all. That is very odd. Okay, whatever. I still want to work this one. To maximize the production. That's 22 hammers. Okay, carry on then. So, back to our siege. That is quite a few units. And one of the reasons I want to hurry up is that if he gets a castle, that will make his capital much tougher. So, we are not going to play it safe and slow. Let's see. So, this guy was a vulture, from the looks of it. Not sure if I want to move in right now. I don't think that's entirely safe. Maybe he will move towards us. Let's see if that's going to happen. Hopefully. Okay. And we can probably kill the composite bowman. Yes, we can. He's down. No, he's not down. Really? What the heck? Okay, it's not like he can really go anywhere from here. He most certainly cannot. So, road. Yep, let's work on that. And there's the settler. Let's go start that city, give him an escort. And that's that. So, okay, he is moving towards us. Our skirmisher was good bait, apparently. And he didn't manage to kill it. We got another promotion. Yeah, let's take shock free. Kill the composite bowman. And then what? Well, then attack and back up. Into the city you go, as garrison. Then we can most certainly kill the spearmen. I think. Well, yeah, we can. The question is, with which unit? It's not quite obvious. Oh, nice. We can pick up indirect fire now. Unless we want cover. I think I'd rather get indirect fire. That's going to be so nice. Kill this fella. And let's stay fortified. Attack the capital, obviously. And unfortunately, the other trebuchet is blocked. I could kill him with the scout, which is not as crazy as you might think. It should actually be fine. Or with this guy. Let's use this guy. 
he actually has cover too, so he should be fine. Alright then. So, something like this. We want all the wounded units to be next to the scout, because this guy has medic too. Which actually makes a pretty big difference. So there we go. And now we can put trebuchet over here. Alright, the city should go down to yellow on the next turn easily. Another garrison. Okay. And how's our capital doing? 17 turns to grow. Let's speed that up a little. 13 turns. Yep, that's reasonable. That's decent balance between yields and growth. I could always remove one merchant. How much faster is it going to grow if we do that? 11 turns. Not that much faster, to be honest. As an alternative, we could work the marble to get more hammers. I think that makes more sense. Yeah, that definitely makes more sense. Uh, also, fate. Let's grab that missionary. In here. Then we can convert Florence. We could also wait to finish machinery and then try to build Notre Dame using Council of Elders. That actually kind of makes more sense. Can we convert more than one city? In theory, I could convert Manila, but I would need an escort for the missionary. Yeah, we can't convert anything easily. Just Florence. Still, it will be a nice production boost. Okay, sure. He's trying hard. I can't blame him. He'll be out of this game if he loses his capital. Now, which exact tile do we want to settle on? I can't settle here because the city is too close. So we actually cannot make this a coastal city. It's impossible. It would have to be on top of the mountain, which it obviously cannot be. It's either too close to Florence or too close to Basra. So... Well, one of these makes sense. I'm thinking this one. It will be easier to defend. It will be pretty close to our capital. I mean, to Damascus. We want to get the wheat, but that's okay. Yeah, I like this one. That will be pretty easy to defend. And pretty close to Damascus. Works for me. So, let's wait for machinery. I'm just going to chill around here. Alright then, so, fortify. And let's see what we can do. He actually attacked the trebuchet. How cute. Well then. This guy definitely needs to die, that much is obvious. Here, down he goes. And we can also take down the catapult, just with the swordsman. Like so, and that's a promotion and another great general. So more citadels if we want them. Let's pick up the promotion. Shock free. Alright then. And then, well, let's go back to attacking the city. We can bring it down to yellow now, I think. Yep, easily. Okay, scout next to the trebuchet. Something like this. And I think that's it for now. We can pillage the farms to heal ourselves a little bit. Like so. That will also give us yields. Yeah, for pillaging, because of the ziggurats. We get faith every time we pillage something in two different cities. That is actually pretty nice. So, fortify until healed. And we can still attack once with the crossbowmen. Yeah, let's just attack the city. Okay. And then... What are you doing? Nothing in particular, apparently. So... Yeah, let's make some improvements around Lagash. It looks a little bit barren. In terms of tile improvements, anyway. He's still trying. I'll give him some credit for that. How's that working out for you? The wealthiest people. Seriously? We are the wealthiest? I'm honestly surprised by that. But okay. If you say so. Two more turns to finish machinery. 
and we'll continue the road, obviously. Let's pick up the promotions first. I'll take cover. We don't need to pillage anything, we can just back up out of his range. Yup. And then... Well, take out the spearmen, maybe. That's where indirect fire comes in handy, certainly. We can flank him like this. I can actually kill him with the scout, so might as well do that. More yields. 11 science, culture and 22 faith. So back to the city. We can take it on the next turn. I could almost take it right now. In fact, hold on, can we take it right now? It might still be worth waiting one turn. Yeah, I think it's still worth waiting one turn. Because then we can take out some of the units around here. And that's definitely a good idea. Oh yeah, we still got some units. Not too far away. But I want that wheat farm. I'm not gonna lie. If I leave the city, I will lose one happiness, but I suppose that's fine. Here you go. And you can go elsewhere. Get a farm down here. Alright. So, how about we fight by some buildings? A cathedral in our capital, that makes sense. Yep, let's do that. So now we are getting gold on the farms. That is going to be so nice, actually. Clear the jungle for Medina. Arabia is still trying to find a location for a city. He can't settle over here. No, he cannot. I'm not quite sure where he's going. I think he's going north. This is probably a valid location for a city. Yeah, it is. So I could block the way by buying a tile. We can afford it, we might as well buy the iron. Because why the heck not? Now, let's grab the city, shall we? Unless we want to wait. He has an elephant now. Yeah, we definitely need to take it now. Let's use the wounded spearman. Oh, is this the upgraded vulture? I don't think so. No, it's not. But he does have cover too. And he's level 6, but still, I have to take the city. Well, I mean, I technically don't have to, <laughs> but I obviously want to. He will probably flip it back if I take it right now. Especially with that elephant down there. Yeah, most likely. I can kill some units. I can kill the spearman quite easily. Like this. I can't quite kill the elephant, but I can do some damage to him. We might actually need one shot on the city, because it's not technically at zero. Unless we use the swordsman, but I would prefer not to do that. Okay, let's take it. So, that finishes machinery, nice. And we'll annex it. What's our next research? Chivalry. And now we can try to build Notre Dame. It will take a little bit of time, but it's worth it if we can manage it. So, Florence. Yep, that saved us what? Four turns? 157 hammers. That is so good. Now, if only we could convert one more city somewhere. We could try to convert Manila. If we can actually get there fast enough. There are no cities left around here without a religion, other than Manila. So that's our only option if we want to do that. Okay, well... We can keep up whatever. Courthouse and monument. I'm pretty sure he's going to take it back on the next turn. With that elephant, if nothing else. I can't really kill the elephant, that's not going to happen right now. I can do some damage to it. We can also promote the swordsman to long swordsman. Okay. And let's grab that spearman. That will be more useful than a trebuchet right now. Okay. You will stay where you are. Siege one. I don't think there's much else we can do right now. That's pretty much it. Well, like I said, we'll just have to flip the city back. 
Okay. This is fine. Continue the road. I will peace out as soon as I'm able to. And let's grab this city. Wait, that is not a valid location for a city. Why not? I don't see why it's not. It should be. It's four tiles away from the other city. So I don't quite understand it. I actually have no idea why this is not a valid location anymore. That makes no sense. Well, in that case, I guess we can go elsewhere. But that is very strange. Never mind! Oh, we actually lost the swordsman. Oh, he didn't take the city! Wait, what? Hey, what do you want? He wants us to declare war on Arabia. Yeah, he wanted that for a while. Hold on, what the heck even happened here? I'm confused what the sequence of events was. Okay, this swordsman. That's fine. He didn't actually take his city back, which is great. That way we might actually be able to defend it. Without having it flipped. Yeah, I think we can. We need to get rid of that elephant. That's the most dangerous unit around here. So, you're going down? Hold on a moment. And then we should upgrade. I could upgrade right now, but I would have to kill him with something else. Nah, let's kill him. We can upgrade later. We need 150 gold for one crossbowman. We do have a lot of gold, but we are also losing. I'm strongly considering rushing something that will give us happiness. We could rush Notre Dame. That will give us 25% of total production towards it. Might be worth it. Anyway, can we kill anything else? He definitely can't retake the city on his next turn. He doesn't have enough damage. But let's not tempt fate. I can't quite kill the spearman. I can do some damage to him. But I definitely can't kill him. No. Okay. Let's back up into our territory. We can use the skirmisher. Against the swordsman mostly. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So one attack and then back up. That was only 19 damage. Not exactly super impressive. I think that's pretty much it. There's not much else we can really do right now. Yep. So, fortify. You stay inside the city. And research. We could grab chemistry. And get the leaning tower. Especially since we removed policy requirements. That is such a nice wonder too. It would synergize nicely with our setup as well. So, that's an option. Yep, I think that's what we'll do. Alright, let's do that then. How about that upgrade? Okay, let's do it. We finished the water mill. We still need writer's guild somewhere, but probably not here. Let's get an arena. And then library. We obviously need all of that. So, hold on. Why the heck can I not start a city? That makes no sense. Oh, is it because of unhappiness? Well, I have no idea. Maybe it's because of unhappiness, but it doesn't say anything about not being able to start cities. Okay. How about we finish that road? Working on it. Yeah, let's go for the jungle. Fortify. Yep. And we got a new policy. That's going to be nobility. Oh yeah, plus one happiness and plus free food from castles. And plus 100% construction rate for castles and armories. That is pretty nice. That doesn't actually give us anything right now, but it will. And now he wants to peace out. Good. We can't turn him into our vassal, can we? Nope. Let's get his luxuries. And, well, that's pretty much it. 
yeah, that's basically it. That's the deal. Okay. Works for me. Mike. You're welcome. Uh, wait, what? Oh yeah, we need slightly less, like 51 or something. Forty-nine. There. Tight. Done. So now he's basically irrelevant. He might try to retake his capital at some point if I leave it undefended. But I will not leave it undefended. Obviously. So now we need to work on our cities. I do hope we'll get Notre Dame. I don't think we'll have a lot of competition for it. And that heavy skirmisher arrived a little bit late. Just slightly late. What's going on in Lagash? Akedoct, definitely need that. I do have a few Akedocts queued up in other cities. Yeah, cargo ship, then Akedoct, definitely makes sense. We'll keep that skirmisher close to Damascus, in case there's some funny business. Yeah, now we can start a city. But now it's a little bit too late. Well, we can still start it here, on top of the luxury. I think I might just do that. It needs to be four tiles away from other cities. So this is one of the few possible locations. We can also go here. That might be a little bit better. That way I could actually get the iron if we care about that. Yeah, technically this is the best location. The only problem is defending it. If Venice decides to declare war on us. I don't think they will, but they might. Yeah, it's definitely not impossible. Oh, and hey, we can actually convert that city now and get Council of Elders bonus, which will speed up Notre Dame. That is perfect. Didn't even think about that initially. So, we are done with Ram. Now we need to work on our city development a bit and upgrade the units. You go back into the city for a garrison. Do we have any more archers? No, that was the last one. Anyway, monument first, then probably city walls. In fact, let's get city walls first. I will feel much, much safer that way. How are our relations with Venice? Uh, not amazing, they are neutral, pretty much. They are technically friendly, but that doesn't necessarily mean much. So, there's a great diplomat. I might use him on Quebec City. Or, well... What are the other options? Manila is maritime, Quebec is maritime, Florence is cultured. We could go for Florence. That's not a bad idea. We got 163 influence in Quebec City. We could also use him to get the extra vote. That probably makes a lot more sense. Yeah, let's get the extra vote. Certainly. So, courthouse in four turns, monument, courthouse, then probably city walls, council, and then we'll see once all of that is complete. The road is almost done, we need one more section. Okay, skirmisher this way, and I think we can convert the city on the next turn. We got four movement points, right? On the missionary. Yeah, four. So we can convert it on the next turn. Venice already has knights. Well, I suppose that's not super surprising. We had chivalry for a while now. Okay, convert, unless we want to wait one turn. Uh, I suppose we can wait one turn, so that it will get four population. And let's send more units in this direction. I will feel much safer that way. So, one more road section. That will remove some isolation penalties. Here you go. And quarry is fine. Now we can get the embassy. That will give us an extra World Congress vote. And we can send a cargo ship to get back. It will be a pretty nice trade route. Alright, next. What is Venice doing right now? They are not at war with anyone, are they? They want open borders. I don't think I want to accept that. Not really. 
Okay, we can still wait one turn. We got eight turns remaining on Notre Dame. We can wait one more. So, road... Almost done. It took a while to connect Damascus. But I guess that's how it goes sometimes. We should fix our happiness pretty soon. I'm just looking at the gold right now. We need 140 to upgrade one Spearman. And we got how many? Yeah, we got quite a few. So I guess that's what we'll spend most of our gold for. Yeah, let's just do that. Maybe not the Vultures, these guys are garrison. In non-frontline cities. Oh, also the Swordsman too. That's 130 for a long swordsman. Okay. This guy, this guy. Here, that's 188. We still got a few. 648. Right, I don't want to go down to zero. So let's not spend everything just yet. Yeah, let's not do that. We'll keep some gold. Next. Global Monopoly on Citrus. Right, so now we'll get some science bonuses no. from Citrus. Plus two science from every resource tile. And let's convert the city. So that gives us 157 hammers. And we'll finish Notre Dame in three turns. I can't imagine anyone is going to steal that from us. I don't think so. Seems fairly unlikely. I don't want to jinx it, but you know, it should be fine. And let's start connecting that city right away. Yep. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.